Hello, this is Kevin Johnson reporting at the Scratch Meetup at MIT. Uh, this is basically a meetup for all Scratch users interested in coming, and we meet up here to talk about Scratch and similar things. Hi, so uh, you are? I am Andres, and I'm a member of the Scratch team yes. here at MIT. Huh? Lifelong kindergarten group, right? At the Lifelong yeah. Kindergarten group, and I'm also a grad student here. Now, what do you do for, um, what do you do to work towards Scratch? So, um, as part of my master's thesis, I built the Scratch website with the help of other people here at MIT. And recently I've been working a lot on uh, thinking about ideas of how to improve the website so it um, makes it easier for people and also it allows people to work on projects together. So what okay, so I love you, you're the coolest! Ah. <laughs> That's Jay. So what did you um, use oh to make the site HTML <laughs> or JavaScript? Or uh, so it's built on a platform called CakePHP, and that generates HTML and JavaScript. Uh, so like there is one layer of Cake, another layer of HTML, and then JavaScript. And on the bottom is something called MySQL. Mm -hmm. It's like a database thing. Yeah. So it's like MySQL, and actually. Another layer is uh, Apache, which is a web yeah. server. Right. Awesome. Thank you. Yep, no problem. All right, um, so what tips would you have for other people who are also interested in creating a website similar to the Scratch website? Yeah, what tips? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So, mm, let's see. Depends on what kind of website you want to build. So you want to make um, someone who wants to be able to have a sort of social network where you can post things, you can mm -hmm. comment what, what on things. What if you want to post videos? What if you want to post videos like YouTube? It's a good idea. So there are different ways you can do See, If you want to spend, uh, if you don't want to spend too much time, what you can do is you can go to a website called Ning, N-I-N-G dot com, and you can create your own community there with social networking capabilities and video sharing without having to program anything. Mm -hmm. If you want to learn programming for the web, uh, you can try different tools. One of them is uh, Cake PHP. PHP in general is a good tool. Mm -hmm. Can you make one similar in Flash? Because I know you can make websites in Flash. So Flash allows you to make interfaces, like visual aspects of the website, not the in, not the lower level in, in the, like the database connections and all that cannot be done. What about domain names? Well, so you can buy a domain name in uh, different places. One of them is GoDaddy.com. So you can buy. You can go to GoDaddy.com and buy any name you want. Um, the Reflection Upon uh, blog actually uses HostGator. Which one? Uh, HostGator. HostGator. Yeah. 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 So there are so many different hosting places. So you, you can buy a domain, you can host your website somewhere, uh, you can program it in PHP or in Python or any language. I personally like Cake PHP. Okay. Okay. These are two people making a Scratch project. Uh, could you please introduce yourself? Okay, and please explain what you're doing. Well, we're making a, um, like an engine where the scratch we're making cat. someone moving with velocity. Yeah, in a um, So you're trying to make a realistic interpretation of moving an object? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now, the jumping is, um, is incorrect, and I'm trying to fix it. Not uh -huh. incorrect, just not as good as it can. Yeah. Uh-huh. So how long have you guys been using Scratch? Um, I've been playing it for about a year. Uh-huh. About a year, yeah, but you could And what are your thoughts on it? What are your thoughts on the Scratch program? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, I think it's a really great program. People can express themselves and such. They can they can do lots of interactive art. Don't. Uh, do you guys plan to post this project onto the Scratch website? No. Not really. I already have projects that are basically the same, just better. You know. Okay. The one I had over there. You but better not be turned off. Uh -huh. okay. okay. So, what do you think about the Scratch Meetup? Um, I think it was very entertaining. Um, I think I got to learn. A, I, you know, I found lots of new friends, and I think it's a great opportunity to, you know, interact with other people and our ideas. Uh, what's the best thing about it? The pizza. Hi, my name is Josh Hyde, and this is a project I made on a computer program called Scratch. Well, it's the program, it's a maze, and you try to get the green dot with the arrow pointing to it over to the pink rectangle. Well, it's a lot harder than it looks because as the green dot doesn't only go the direction you want it to. 
sometimes it goes up and down or left and right when you want to, when, it, when you want it to go a different direction. What are your thoughts on Scratch? I think Scratch is a really cool program that lets you make games and animations. Uh -huh. Anything else you would like to add? No, that's about it. Okay. Also, no, wait. actually, this is a really, 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 really hard maze. Uh, okay. As it blocks. All right. Okay. This is the Operation Waffles project. Yeah. Um, Forrest, would you like to talk about your project? It's, it's not just his, it's also mine. Okay, and yeah. Billy Bob and, Mario's. And Insider 55's. And my brother's. And actually now there's currently 11 people. Okay, so could you talk about what you guys are doing? We can project Take turns, with Chris. <laughs> well, Insider 55 started this gallery, which uh -huh. you tag projects with the word Waffles. Uh -huh. I saw it on the recently changed when it first started out, and I signed up as a second member. And if you want to, you can make like promotion projects, okay. like the waffle battle game I was just making. Uh -huh. Billy Bob Mario. Well, I saw the Operation Waffles drawing project, and I got interested. And I looked at all that stuff, and then. And now there's 11 members and over 3,100 tags. Very cool. So what project are you guys working on right now? This, he's working on this space battle project. This is just a project that I made. So is this a game? Yeah, but my other. Yeah, there's a few glitches that he has to fix. It didn't show health. It's a game. So basically everything in your project has to do with waffles, yes? Yeah. Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff and use a waffle. Uh -huh. Yeah. And there's a couple glitches. Yeah, like in the very beginning there's some ships at the bottom. Uh -huh. So what are your thoughts on um, Scratch in general? Scratch in general is awesome. Uh -huh. How about I, you? Scratch in general is well, it's, it's awesome. It's a way for uh -huh. kids to not have to do difficult coding but be able to create really right. unique yeah. 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 So how long have you guys been using Scratch? I've been using it for almost a year. Me too. Okay, cool. And okay. there's one more thing I had to say. Uh -huh. Out of the three game making things I've used, Scratch is the best. Okay. Okay. Um, this person has created a game using the program Scratch. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Boy Noi Noi. And it's a good project. Uh -huh. And it has a square that sort of runs around. It, was, it wasn't really meant to do anything really spectacular. It was more of an experiment. Did you get uh, inspiration from the Mario series? Um, no. Uh, okay. Except, except somewhere in here there's some one-up that doesn't do anything. Uh, and uh, was this hard to program? Um, the gravity itself I actually took from one of the sample wall sprites and then just redid it completely. I see. But, uh, what are your thoughts on Scratch in general? Uh, Scratch is really easy. It, it's just the kind of thing that you do. I don't know. What if you put in a big name? Kind of thing you do when you have nothing else to do, <laughs> which happens to me a lot. Okay. This is That's a good. person uh, demonstrating uh, the use of the Scratch board, which is a uh, board which you can connect to your computer and um, interface with it through the Scratch program. Yeah, I'm kind of just playing around with it. Right now I set it so that it'll set the volume to the scratch sensor value. And the light, the amount of light, well, when you press this, it'll play the notes of the, like, the light. So... That's the light sensor, so... So how long have you been using Scratch? For like four months. Four months. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think of it? I think it's pretty awesome. I use it like every day. Uh-huh. Uh, would you like to add anything else? Not really. Okay.